of you one happy Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Okay. I think our throw today is really good. Okay. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Empress crossed by the Ace of Swords. And we have the Seven of Swords as the outbound. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune is coming in today to just tell you really that the fortune in your life is changing. Okay. Be that for whatever you've been asking for. It's a faded change. Okay. And this is the natural law of the universe. Okay. If you've been asking for something, more than likely, if your integrity has been in the right place, if your heart's been open, if your moral compass has been pointed in the right way, and it's for the betterment of all involved, it's going to turn that way, okay? But know that if it doesn't turn out exactly how you had thought it would, just know that it's divinely connected for you, okay? It's it's the divine connection that that is for your better good, and it's it's usually a lot better than we can ever imagine, okay? So that's the energy coming in. I think that's great, okay? That's on a global scale too, guys. Okay, um, I don't want to get into too much of that because this is this is yours, but we are all part of a global collective. So we're being asked to really just, you know, trust that fate is changing and turning in a way that is for the betterment of everyone. Okay, but on your personal scale, it's it's things are turning in your favor now. Okay, um, so we have the Empress here. Okay growth, abundance, okay, creativity, be involved passionately in your life, okay, passion is prayer, passion is fire, passion turns the wheel, right, because you're fully engaged, okay, um, live with an open heart, like I said, with the, the wheel of fortune too, okay, when we don't do that, and we don't have spiritual passion or, or fire in our heart, right, we fall, uh, in love and we chase empty substitutes right and and even when we get that great job that we want and that relationship that we want we're still yearning for something right so that's the reminder in here with the empress that um, your heart is always divinely connected that's where you will find um, that longing and that missing so just just always know that you've got the power within yourself okay um, Allow your heart really to believe, to, to, to really just yearn and to, to, to burn for something, okay? Know that it's coming your way. That's what the wheel is really trying to reinforce, that, that even though things may not look like they're going in your favor, they absolutely are. Because what the Empress is crossed with is the Ace of Swords. That card actually, I want you to notice how it's positioned, okay, down, okay? That originally is, uh, the Ace of Swords is the Southern Cross, okay? That's that's basically just saying that um, clarity. Loosen uh, your grip on whatever you're holding on to. Trust that um, what emerges for you, the clarity that comes, the aha moments through, whatever you see, right, um, is for your greater good. Trust, again, today's a real strong, strong, just connect to your divine today. Let it, let it guide you. Don't be afraid either. Okay. You're being reminded that the power um, of spirit and to be divinely connected is always inside of you. You're always tapped into that. Okay. Um, so that's what, that's what that really means there. I, I have a real strong feeling that there's a lot of despair uh, for right reasons, right? And, and a lot of uh, loss in fate. But but this throw, I think, is really to just remind you that things are happening here for a greater good, even though you don't understand it. So focus on your part, what you play in this big tapestry of life that we're in, right? We're, we're all globally connected. But when you do your part, it, it fills in that part so that the universe can fill in what it needs to and we're all divinely connected right that i think really is the clarity that comes today that you really the seven of swords take a step back right really tap into your intuition tap into the the empress is, is the universal well right just just tap into that get clarity just sit back and and really be honest and truthful with yourself as to the things that um what is it that you really want you know you may have to to shift a little bit here Right. This is that card that comes in sometimes that seven of swords where it's 
it's coined as the deception card. Sometimes we, we, you know, we really are deceiving ourselves because we're, we're yearning for things and we're wanting things and we're holding on to things that really aren't for our greater good. So you're being asked today to really just step back into the shadows, really just observe the things that are going on around you. You know, what do you want to be fully engaged in? What part of that? What part of the relationships and the jobs and your day-to-day -day stuff do you really need to maybe course correct just a little bit? Okay, that's a card of maybe having to tweak some things. Right, so just get really clear about what it is that you want. The Empress is, is representing here that, that you've got growth and abundance. It's sitting right here. So whatever it is that you've been afraid to do, have been you know fearful to do, don't think you can do, have lost faith in, it's the wheel is really turning. It's turning in your favor, and you're going to start to see exactly where um, and what part you play in all of this okay and it's going to be grander than you can ever imagine that i assure you okay so loosen the grip because there was a, a strong feeling you know and when we're fearful of something we try to hang on to the things that we can but but it, they're not really the things that we want right so you're just being really asked to have an open heart today trust that things are going the way that they're supposed to go for you abundance is coming your way it's right here just get very, very clear about what you ask because you're about to get it, okay? So be very clear what it is that you're looking for, what you want, okay? All right. Thank you so much. I think this was a wonderful reading. Again, uh, do you today and think really what part you play in all of this and, and maybe the things that, you know, you believed in or wanted really need to be just a little bit tweaked, just a little bit, okay? Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I will be more than happy to do that for you. Okay, thank you so much.